and it is ready for casting. The mold is prepared for casting. We just need to fill it with certain material. Sir Rodney has made a reconstruction of the mythical golden knife. He seemed unafraid of maledictions, and yet... Half a glass of water should be enough to create a plaster solution. see what we have here. This knife is very similar to that described by the coroner as the weapon that killed Sir Rodney. You should not leap to any hasty conclusions, Watson. Let us try to create an object from silver by using the mold. It will take a minute to melt the silver with my gas burner. Done. Now I can proceed further. The mold is hot. I should wait for it to cool down. Done. Now I can proceed further. A homemade silver knife. Excellent. We have created a knife with the silver that we found. It could have been used to kill Sir Rodney. It was extremely clever to create a weapon that could dissolve at the scene of the crime. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. What can you tell me about Mithras? Oh, so much. It was the core of our work. Why do you ask? Were you seeking the Golden Knife? Ah, I see you are an amateur. Yes, the Golden Knife was our grail. It is said that it bears the only text explaining the ritual of the cult of Mithras. 
I understand. I read something about immortality. A myth. Uh, the knife would provide immortality only to the worthy one. And yet it is cursed, and it would kill you if you are not initiated. Did you expect to find the golden knife at the baths? Well, Sir Rodney thought that it might be there. Uh, did you observe the knife representations there? They are so extraordinary. Uh, and we had hoped that... Oh, it is a tragedy that he has passed away, taking all of his secrets with him. As soon as I've been released, I will continue Sir Rodney's researches in his memory. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. The paintings in the baths are focused on Mithras, I understand. Yes, they are what make this place remarkable. And that is why Sir Rodney came here? He believed that the golden knife, which is an ancient ritual item, was hidden somewhere around the baths. I admit that it would be wonderful if it were true. And you are not concerned by the reputation of this artifact? <laughs> you mean the curse? Before someone is dead, it is a blessing. After they are dead, well, then it becomes a curse. <laughs> Please escort this suspect for interrogation. Perhaps you could explain the cult of Mithras to me. No, there is nothing to say. We, we, we are not the worthy ones. But Sir Rodney believed that he was? He was wrong. I, I have visions. The golden knife, the, the mummy. Oh, it's all my fault. Calm down, Mr. Garrow. I'm feeling rather uncomfortable. Why have I been put into these cuffs? I fear that you had better get used to them, Mr. Blinkhorn. They are your reward for the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. What? No, that's a lie. It is regrettable, for you are a talented archaeologist. I will request that you are placed in a prison where you are unable to dig an escape tunnel. That is, of course, if they decide that you shall live. You, the consulting are... detective who salutes your intelligence in performing the perfect crime, yes, but also the gentleman who detests your motivation. You know nothing. You wish to be the one who would reveal this to the world. Is that the golden knife? How... I also like to dig, you see. I only followed your trail. Such a pity that there is always someone willing to steal your credit, wouldn't you say? And there was the chance of a lifetime. You had to take it. It was not to be shared. It... Oh. But now I am here. And there is no one who will stop the tread of justice, Mr. Blinkhorn. Goodbye. <laughs> 